In this video, we're gonna talk about branching strategies while using Git. And in particular, we're gonna talk a little bit about Git flow. And the reason that I wanna talk about this is even though you may know how to branch and the basics of branching, it doesn't really give you an idea of the best way to utilize branching. So, you know, how do we handle periodic releases? And we don't want things to break while we're developing on our um, branch, but we also wanna be able to support a release at the same time. And to start talking about this, so far we've we mentioned feature branching, which if I type in here, you'll see a graph that looks something like this. And this is what we've been working on so far. A step above that, you may think about a feature develop and release sort of structure. So something like this, where your master is going to be a releasable build. In the case of games, it could be a executable that you can save out and send out to people and they can play. And while the master is on this release, we can continue to develop up until the next release on our develop branch. And while that's happening, we're putting in new features using the feature branch and you know these can go away whenever we don't need them. So we're really just holding on to a master, which is our releases and our develop branch. So this is one way in which you can do it. And so far we've just been doing this part right here where our master is our develop. But in this case, our develop is the most current build with all of our new features. And we're just pulling off of that to save masters for a release periodically. So this is the next step that we could do. After that is going to be something called Git flow, which is a very popular branching model. Git flow may look complex at first. So if I type in Git flow branching, you're gonna see this crazy graph that looks something like this. Even though the graph looks kind of nuts, it's very similar to what we were just talking about where we have our master being our periodic releases of our game and we have our develop, meaning this is the current feature implemented build for our game. And then we have our feature branches. The only big difference here is that with Git flow, we are creating a new release. So if this is our develop, we are pulling off of develop to start building into a release. And we can make some changes here. We can make sure that all the, the weird temporary bugs are fixed. And then when we're ready with it, we can send this off and put this into our release. So our master is still our release. Our release is kind of like preparation for a release. And then our hotfix is just a, a branch that we may sometimes use where if there was something wrong with the release, like a player just found a game breaking bug and we just really need to fix that real quick then we can pull that into hotfix and um, isolate that there and then we can release that. That's the general branching strategy of Git flow. And again, it's, it's pretty popular. If you are working in any kind of sizable team, you may wanna look into something like this, especially if you're releasing periodic builds to the community, you may want to make sure that those builds that you release are not with all the temporary broken stuff. You wanna make sure that you put that out into a separate branch, which would be master. And the way that you would build that release is you would pull off of develop, you'd work on it in the release branch, and then you would push it in over here into master. And then if you needed to fix something, then you'd have your hotfix branch. So that's the concept of Git flow. You can read more about it. There's lots of articles um, about it. And here's the cool thing with Git Kraken, Gitflow is so widely used that they have integrated tools into Git Kraken to help you not think about it and just pre-set up your project to work with Gitflow. And you could you could set up your branches to um, align with a Gitflow strategy. But one interesting feature inside of Git Kraken is the ability to implement a Gitflow set up into your project so that people who are working in it don't really need to think about the branches. They're just thinking about what they're trying to do. So do they want to uh, work on a release candidate? Do they want to just add to the developed? Do they want to add a new feature and so forth. So to set this up, all you need to do is go to preferences. So if you go to file preferences and you go down to Git flow and you'll see this setup right here where um, 
we can initialize git flow into our project. And these are the branches that it's going to create. And you'll recognize these as the branches we just talked about. Master is going to be our releases that should be bug free that we can put out in the community. Uh, develop is going to be our current working build. So what we're putting our features into the current uh, development branch. And these two branches are going to persist forever. Then we'll have our other ones if we need to use them. So like create a feature or uh, create a release or a hotfix. So let's click the initialize git flow button. And you'll see this git flow has been initialized. If I exit preferences and I come back to my project, you're gonna see this new tab right here called git flow. You'll also see that it created a develop branch wherever we last left off. In order to start using this, all we need to do is we use this little uh, button right here, this open git flow button. And at this point we decide what we wanna do. So we don't, do we want to start a feature? Do we wanna start building a release or do we want to start a hotfix? Let's start off by doing a feature. So if we click start feature and we'll call this whatever, whatever we need it to be. So um, adjust white box. Latest develop or current branch. We're just we typically want to build features from the latest develop, so we'll just keep that there and click start feature. And you'll see that it did a few things here. It created a new branch with the name of my feature and put us into that branch. So now, if we were to uh, open up Unity, and once we're inside of Unity, let's say that. Um, we called it adjusting white box. So let's build a couple more walls here. You know, nothing fancy. So we have adjusted our white box at this point. We're gonna save it. And whenever we're ready, we can make our commit. So we have affected the white box scene. So it's good practice to always double check that you are changing the files you intend to change. And if not, that you um, discard the ones that you didn't mean to change. We'll do stage all changes. We'll make our commit. And when we're ready to merge back into develop and we're finished with our feature, then if we right click and go to finish feature, or you could use the get flow down here and you could say um, finish feature. We, either way, it's probably faster just to right click in this case. I'll just do it that way. Uh, right click, finish feature. Um, the, the only difference between rebase and merging is just how it displays here. It's, it's a little easier to follow if you rebase, but I'm, I'm just going to keep everything default and I'm just going to click finish. But also notice that it gets rid of our, our feature branch once we have completed it, which is nice for um, keeping a clean history. So we can see that it merged our feature back into develop. It got rid of our feature branch. And we are, we are current. We might have had to fix some merge conflicts if, if they popped up. But you'll see how, how easy this was. We're not worrying about all these other things. We're just creating a feature and get, get flow. We're giving it a name. We're making our changes and saying finish the feature. We're not worrying about which branch we're merging into, which is kind of nice if you're working with people who are not as familiar with version control. And at this point, just to show you again, maybe we say that uh, we are ready to release. And so we're going to click the green button and we're going to start a release candidate. You can give it a name here. Uh, maybe we call it, uh, I just develop, yep. Okay, so we are working towards a release and at this point we can um, make more changes. You know, maybe, maybe we need to make changes, maybe we don't. Let's show that we can. Maybe in this case, we've decided, oh, you know what? We, have, we haven't really implemented jumping yet, so uh, we need to get rid of that. Okay, now we are ready to release. 
Now keep in mind that develop is still using the version that had the little platform that we just deleted, but our release, it, we're, we pulled off so we can start building to something that we can hand over to people and it should be fully functional. So we're gonna say um, removed jump platforms or fixed bugs or whatever. And when we're ready to finalize the release, then we can say finish. So right click, finish, release. You know, you can leave a message if you want. Just say finish release. Okay, so you'll see that um, at this point we have our release as a separate branch. And if, if we wanted to, we could build out of this and we could um, release this however we, we need it. And then people could also continue to work and develop. We may also need to push this. Just to make sure we're current, good practice, I'm gonna push the develop as well. Uh, we haven't pushed in a while, so we needed to create that. And let's say if we wanted to fix something here, like, oh, um, actually that wall, there's a wall in there that blocks player progress, then we can um, create a hotfix. We do hotfix, and that's gonna build off of whatever our uh, master is. So we'll say hotfix uh, 1.01 or 1.1, yeah, 1 .1, that's whichever. We're going to open up Unity. And we've realized that players are getting stuck on this cube over here, for example. So um, we probably need to get rid of that cube. Save. Close. Now remember, we're we're in the hotfix right now. And we'll say deleted trouble cube. Players getting stuck on cube. Made sure to remove. All right. Um, we can push that if we want. Now I'll tell you what. Um, at this point, we can just right click and we can say finish. So we are finished with our hotfix. We can tag a message if we want. And you'll see that it, it automatically created a new version of the master right here with the hotfix. So it, it, this, so I think for some of you, it might be easier to just remember, what am I doing? Am I building a release? finish with the release. Am I building a feature? Finish with the feature. Am I building a hotfix? Finish with the hotfix. And the main branches that you need to worry about are just master and develop. So just make sure that um, if you do wanna push these up that you push master. And once you have finished your features that you push develop. And it's just a more interesting way to work. Um, sometimes it'll kind of collapse like that. So you can pull that out.